Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at bonding within biological molecules and yes this is biology and not chemistry but it is one of the areas where they bind very closely and they do cross over a little bit. If you want to check you know everything in this video you can use the checklist to tick off stuff as you go along and if you really want to practice and check that you've got all the information in your head then there are loads of questions waiting for you over my website. Learning how words are made up will really help you interpret words in biology. So mono means one and mer means bit. So a monomer is one bit or one unit. And in biology, there are lots and lots of different single units that you need to know. Whether they are monosaccharides, nucleotides, amino acids or fatty acids, all of these are monomers. A polymer is many bits. Poly means mon many and mer means units or bits. So lots of units added together. So instead of just having one bit, a monomer, a monosaccharide, if we have lots of them together in a chain, we have a polymer, which we starch. Or a nucleotide is a monomer, but lots of nucleotides all together will give us the polymer, which for a nucleotide is DNA. The same with amino acid being a monomer, and the polymer of that is going to be a protein chain or a polypeptide. The structure of this polymer chain will give rise to the function. Whether it is storing information or storing energy, or whether it is a structural as in cell walls. The definitions of words is really important to get correct so that you are interpreting them correctly and that you are using them correctly in answers for exams. So a monomer is a small molecule that can be reacted with others to give a long chain. A polymer is a long chain of repeating units. Polymerization is the joining together of repeating units or monomers into a long chain or a polymer. Now these can be lots of the same monomers joining together. All these can be different monomers joining together. I don't mean um, a monosaccharide joining with amino acid, but I mean you can have one amino acid joining with another amino acid joining with a different amino acid. In biology, a macromolecule is a large molecule, such as a protein. Structures in biology can go from very, very simple, such as a monomer. As we get to polymers, they get slightly more complicated. But when we get to macromolecules, they get very, very complicated. And the structure of the macromolecule needs to be stable because it needs to have its function specific to its structure, for example, enzymes. They need to have a stable active site which is specific. So how do we go from simple to very, very complicated and stable and specific? This is all due to the different types of bonding between different parts of the polymer chain. Now don't get confused, we are in biology here, not in chemistry. But the first type of bonding you need to know about is covalent bonding. And this is the sharing of electrons between two elements that are non-metals. Ionic bonding is the transfer of electrons. And this happens from a metal to a non-metal. This will then form ions. And these ions are attracted to each other. This type of bonding is weaker than covalent bonding. And we have hydrogen bonding, shown here in pink. This is between a slightly positive hydrogen and a slightly negative atom. Now, individually, these hydrogen bonds are very, very weak, but there are going to be a large, large number of hydrogen bonds within your macromolecule, and overall, that is going to have a very large, a very strong effect. I know water is not a macromolecule, but I'm just gonna use this as an example to show you the different types of bonding. 
Now, hydrogen is going to be slightly positive, and here we have oxygen as slightly negative. This is polar. There is polarity shown. And between the positive and the negative, there is going to be a slight attraction. And this is a hydrogen bond. This, on its own, is very, very weak. It is an intermolecular bond. The lines drawn here in blue are covalent bonds. These are strong covalent bonds. And this is an intramolecular bond. You need to know what monomers go together to make which polymers. Lots of amino acids together in a chain will make a protein. Lots of nucleotides together will go together in a chain to make a polynucleotide or a nucleic acid. Monosaccharides will polymerize into a polysaccharide. And together, fatty acids and lycerol will form a polymer which is a lipid. Going from monomers to polymers is a condensation reaction. And going the other way from polymers to monomers is a hydrolysis reaction. A condensation reaction is something that occurs in polymerization when monomers are joined together. This reaction is going to release a small molecule as a waste product, and this is generally going to be water. For example, joining together two amino acids in a condensation reaction, water is going to be released as a byproduct. Looking at the makeup of the word hydrolysis, hydro is water and lysis is break. Polymers can be broken in a hydrolysis reaction and water is needed to be added to break that bond. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too